In the reference manual, go to page number 29. So as the documentation says, before we start reading and writing the memory of all these uh, cards, you have to first issue this command called the select card type command. See, every command here has got a structure of the ISO uh, command series where you got the class, the instruction, the parameter 1, parameter 2, the length of the command and the command bytes itself. So here you have to specify the card type as 06 and if this command is successful the the reader writer will issue 9000. That's exactly what I have done in my software as well. So this is my software. First I'm going to list out all these uh, readers connected to my PC and connect and you have to, this is the first command here. So I'm showing the all the commands I am issuing from this uh, software. If you click on this select data and you can see that I'm sending the same command for the documentation uh, as mentioned here. So as you can see the command is successful so the reader writer is giving out the number 90. So I have seen what happens if you try to read and write without selecting the card. It will not work. So always you know send this command first and then you can start read and write. So let us see how this read operation from the chip document is mapped to this the higher level the read memory APDU. So here in order to read the memory you have to keep for all these commands the class is always FF whereas instruction will change and these instruction they don't match what you see in the chip document. If you go to the chip document here the read command has got the command like you have to send 30 whereas here we are sending B0 actually this instruction the INS B0 this confirms to the IS4 78164 command series which probably I will explain a little bit of that in my later videos and here we have to specify the byte address this is uh, just a byte long and you also have to give the memory length if you look at the chip details the read operation reads till the end of the memory starting from the given address up to the end whereas whereas the this API so they offer as a different a higher level operations maybe internally this is reading out everything from the given address up to the end and returning us only this length of bytes so this is how the data look like so I'm going to I don't have any probably I'll try here so I'm going to first if you click on this go so here I'm reading everything let's see what I'm doing so here I'm using the same command so here I'm reading up to not the entire thing because I can it's just a byte long the length I cannot uh, mention the number 256 so I'm reading I think everything up to the last 16 bytes here so this will return me probably 232 bytes and I'm issuing one more command this time I'm reading the next 16 bytes starting from the address F0 so next is about the read presentation error counter memory so here the command is the b1 command so it looks like you know this is a b b0 and this is b1 and so you have to specify the length 
so here is something it looks a bit of misleading here it is read the presentation looks like you know this is reading the entire security memory because so this is the command structure where you specify the the length there is no command but the length so I'm, this command says you need four bytes you're asking for four bytes so as you can see here it is reading the entire security memory whereas the first byte is the error counter and as the documentation says you cannot read the security memory without authentication and that's the reason why it says they're all dummy values so there is some information here this this information matches what the documentation says says so 0 7 indicates the last verification is correct we know that and 0 0 indicates the password is locked so let us try let us see how this uh, method works so I have got an equivalent you can I can just go to clear this thing okay so probably this is the command read command see what we have done here I'm sending the same command what documentation says and look at the value you get from the card from the reader writer you're getting 0, 03 so I've already tried a wrong password so the error counter has reduced by one it's a three and because I'm not authenticated you get all the dummy values are zero zero the next thing is in you know, a read the protection bits so this command reads the protection bits so the command structure here is uh, b2 and the length is 04 we know that protection bits are 32 bits which is uh, equivalent to 4 bytes and so this is the button here if I click so I issue this command and this is the value you get and for all the commands successful commands you get 9000 uh, so after this once I get this data I'm just decoding them and highlighting all the corresponding uh, grid cells to read so that's how the read operation is done and the next thing is you know the write memory card so here in this command you have to specify the byte address from where you want to write and the length and how many bytes you're going to write and so the length indicates how many bytes you're going to write and these are the bytes so if I want to write from address uh, 100 I want to write uh, 10 bytes and all these byte 10 bytes will follow this whereas if you compare this with the, the original the chip document the chip document says you can write only one byte at a time so it looks like this command the way it is interpreted within this reader writer is it will probably send a series of uh, the update main memory commands and let's see how I've done here so let's go and uh, update I'm going to update uh, this line you cannot update because uh, we have to authenticate I'm just going to authenticate that I know it's uh, FFF authenticate okay so I'm going to edit and type so hello world and let me okay so I'm going to use this click on this button called write and it says write okay let's see what I have done here so I'm sending this command and three zero let's say so this is uh, d0 the address byte address is three zero that's where you know I just modified I modified from uh, three zero this is in decimals whereas it's hexadecimal with three zero so followed by one zero means 16 so I'm sending I'm updating 16 bytes and these are the 16 bytes I'm updating so you got success 9000 the next thing is uh, write protection memory so here 
you have to as the documentation says it's done exactly here you have to speci you have to send the byte values to compare and we know the documentation says this value is compared with the the memory value say for example whatever value you specify here that gets compared with uh, the value in the memory so only when they match the corresponding address as uh, so a log bit is set to zero so let us try to lock I have done I think the lock byte by byte so I'm going to lock the address phi here so I'm going to choose address phi and I'm authenticated because without authentication you can't update or uh, lock so I'm going to say write and let us see what I have done here so I'm sending I want to protect the byte phi and I'm going to protect let's see what the command is so this is the word address from the address and how many bytes I want to lock so from the address 0 phi I want to lock one byte and this is my current value ff and the value that was in the EEPROM is also ff and for that reason this is locked probably I have to read this lock again and yeah so this is this is locked the next thing is the the present code memory block so this is comparing the PSC code and look at this how easy this command is made by this uh, ACR 39x API if you look at the original documentation there's a series of commands you know we have to send starting from uh, setting one of the error counter to zero then comparing the three bytes then updating uh, trying to reset the error counter to zero and all these operations are reduced to just one single APDU we just have to specify this command followed by the three bytes and I'm going to show you how to do that so let's try to I'm going to start all over again just try to okay select the card and I'm going to I know this is my password so let's click on let's clear this thing so I'm going to click on authenticate and if you see here I'm, I'm passing the same command with the three FFs because that's my passcode and the return value here is nine zero and zero seven so if you see the documentation it says after the verification is successful we can erase the error counter so that's exactly what the AP is doing as well the next thing is change the code memory here you can the word documentation mentions about updating in a byte by byte whereas here everything is done using a single command so we just have to specify this command let's go and change my password to say one zero one one and one two so change so what I'm doing here is sending this command as you can see here I'm sending this uh, one two the first byte is the PSC 0 so you have to send the first sorry PSC 1 this is the first byte you have to send this is the order you have to send uh, code 1 code 2 and code 3 and if everything is successful you get 9000 so this changes the password and uh, another thing you know which I mentioned in the chip document is about the ATR so let's go through that section ATR so it also mentioned here the ATR is the first four bytes of the of the memory so I got a separate command here I'm just going to yeah it's not quite clear 
So I've got a command here called get ATR. What I'm doing is sending this uh, winscar dll. I'm sending scar state command, and this returns me the ATR. And this is what you get when you request for the ATR. And 3b04, 3b is the is the always the first byte of ATR. 04 is the how many bytes following this. And if you compare this this with the first four bytes they match so the first four bytes they're also locked as well so the first four bytes are the ATR and we know from the documentation this it's called ATR header called H1, H2, H3 and H4 and the next page also mentions about what these H1s are I've done the decoding here as well so this is the ATR header and a lot of information here, some of the important data here is, so it says that the the protocol, it say I think it's a byte zero says, it's a two wire bus, it's a general purpose uh, structure. And it also says it's a read to end type of card. Here it says uh, the capacity is uh, 256 units and length of each unit is a uh, 8 bits okay and the category is number 10 probably you now there are there could be some information in internet you know we just have to look around so the DR structure says 17 and after that we know from the documentation uh, the header 2 header 3 header 4 so they got all this information here and I'm also showing some of uh, these bytes as well so I'm not you know I must have don't know some of this information but I'm just going to show you what the decoding looks like the ICM the manufacturer ID is uh, 81 like something like you know 04 corresponds to an XP uh, Phillips and the IC type here says 15 I have to check you know what is the IC type when I start using this uh, 4438 uh, type of uh, card and I got some information here fabrication ID fabric IC serial number looks like you know if you come across FFs you know that means it's a uh, erased memory nothing is there you also got some information here it has got AID which is uh, D276004 I've seen most cards have the same uh, AIDs and and uh, that's all I think that's all we covered more or less everything about uh, uh, SLE 55 I said we covered 4442 but you know 5542 is exactly same as 4442 so it looks like 5542 has got different kind of a probably like a semiconductor or CMOS technology that's maybe different